The Fayetteville City Council wants to speed up the process of clearing neglected homes and businesses. CBS 17's Justin Moore is digging deeper into what it takes to make that happen. Fayetteville Housing and Code Enforcement Manager James Rutherford and his team are busy. They're responsible for inspecting homes, businesses, and even advertising signs. We're here to keep the city safe. We caught up with him as he inspected this recently burned, abandoned home in Fayetteville, a home he says is dangerous. There are 13 code enforcement employees in Fayetteville. You know, we have two people out today, you know, for due to illness, you know, so all that impacts those follow-ups. Each year, code enforcers balance a workload of 13 to 14,000 cases, outpacing the number of cases in bigger cities like Raleigh and Charlotte. Well, it's not difficult keeping up with them. It's, uh, it can be difficult uh, uh, maintaining uh, the follow-ups uh, and keeping them to the standards that we'd like to keep them at. Resolving these violations sometimes take a while depending on the situation. The Fayetteville City Council wants to reduce the time it takes to get dilapidated homes and buildings cleaned up, giving a facelift to neighborhoods. That would take additional resources, would take additional staffing, administrative support, supervisor support. Rutherford says sometimes property owners of abandoned buildings and homes don't comply. And demolition is the last, the last resort. Demolition costs the city on the front end. Property owners are billed later. Price of the demolitions has gone up drastically due to uh, the market conditions, uh, labor, fuel. Rutherford says being a good neighbor and taking care of your properties can drastically reduce this issue. In Fayetteville, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News. Fayetteville Housing and Code Enforcers are working on plans to speed up the process to clean up those abandoned properties. The ideas will be presented at a future city council meeting.